Today I'm going to show you how to convert raster image to vector in Adobe Photoshop. The first step is go to file and create a new document. From the drop down, select the pixels. I'll make the width 5903, the height 3935, the resolution 300 pixels inch, the color mode RGB color 8 bit, and the background contents white. Then click create, go back to file, place embedded, then place a photo that you would like to make into a vector. Hit enter or return on the keyboard. Go to select and subject. Click add layer mask icon to remove the background. And then right click and convert to smart object. Delete this background layer by dragging to the trash icon. Now, let's apply some filters to our layers. Let's start with the oil paint filter from here. Make the stylization 5. The cleanliness 3. The scale 0.1. The bristle detail 0 and uncheck lighting, then click OK, go back to filter, and open the filter gallery, open the artistic folder, and choose the poster edges, make the edge thickness, 10, the edge intensity, 0, and the posterization, 6, then click OK, go back to filter, blur, and surface blur, make the radius, 20 pixels, and the threshold, 10 levels, then click OK, now, duplicate the oil paint filters, so, hold the alt key and drag the oil paint, and drop it above the surface blur. Finally, go back to the filter, sharpen, and choose the unsharp mask. Make the amount, 155%, the radius, 10 pixels, and the threshold, 10 levels. Then click OK. Click on the adjustment layer icon, and create a hue and saturation layer. Then drag the saturation slider all the way to minus 100. Go back to adjustment layer icon, and create a posterize layer. With this level slider, you can control the final output number of colors. For example, if you want a four colors vector, just set the levels to four. And you will get a white and two levels of gray image like this one. And two will gives you a two colors image, black and white. Now, let's change it to four. Finally, let's create a levels layer. Then drag the levels layer and drop it above the model layer. By moving any of the three sliders, you can control the density of each color like that. Adjust the values depending on your image. Then close the properties window once you're satisfied. Select the top layer. Press Ctrl, Shift, Alt, and E to copy merge all layers. And then disable the four layers below it. Step 2. Vectorizing everything. Now, go to Select. And open the color range window from here. Under the Select, choose the sampled colors. And select the first eyedropper right there. Pick any color to make a selection around it. Set the fuzziness to zero. And make sure uncheck the invert. Then click OK. Just pick any selection tool. And right click inside the selection. And choose make work path. Change tolerance, 2 or 3 pixels. Then click OK. Click on the adjustment layer icon. And choose the solid color. Then click OK. This will create a shape or a vector layer like that. Open your direct selection tool and you will see the anchor points of your layer like that. And you can also edit it as you want, using the pen tool. Now, I need to repeat the previous steps on the dark gray, light gray, and white colors, to fully vectorize my current image. Go back to select, and color range, pick the second color, I'll choose dark gray, the fuzziness zero, and uncheck the invert, then click OK, pick any selection tool, and right click inside the selection, and choose make work path. The tolerance, 2 pixels. Click on the adjustment layer icon, and choose the solid color. Then click OK. Now, I'm going to speed this part up to save your time. Hide all layers, and here is the final vector result. And that's it, hope you liked it. Thanks for watching.